everybody. Welcome to Storytime. Let's start today with a good morning song. Or say, good morning, how are you? 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 How are you today? And now we're going to clap our hands. You clap your hands. Ready? Clap your hands, how are you? Clap your hands, how are you? Clap your hands, how are you? How are you today? All right, and now we're gonna stomp our feet. Can you get your feet ready and stomp for me? Here we go, just like this. Stomp your feet, how are you? Stomp your feet, how are you? Stomp your feet, how are you? How are you today? All right, good job, good job. Let's get started with our first story today. Today, we're gonna to read stories about color. And the very first book I have to share with you is all about the color white. The polar bear is white, the snow behind him is white. Just about everything in this story is white. It's monochromatic, and that means one color. And this book is called A Polar Bear in the Snow by Mac Barnett, and the art is by Sean Harris. And this is beautiful cut paper illustrations, and you'll see why when you see the pictures. It's such a good story to share. A polar bear in the snow. There is a polar bear in the snow. Can you even see him at all on this first page? I can't either. Still asleep, he lifts his nose in the air. You see now his nose is appearing. And he awakens. His eyes appeared. There is a polar bear in the snow. Where is he going? It looks very, very white and plain out there. Is he going to visit the seals? Hmm. Do you think the seals would like to have a polar bear visit them? No. He is not hungry. Whew, I bet the seals are relieved. Is he going to hunker in a cave? No, his fur protects him from the storm. Are those, what are those in the cave that are watching him? Are those foxes? Maybe Arctic foxes, they're white. Is he going to meet a man? No. Oh my goodness, he does not look like he's happy to see the man. There is a polar bear in the snow. Where is he going? What do you think? Oh, wow. Now we have a different color. What color is this on the page? It's blue. What could he be looking at there? Is that maybe his reflection in the water? Like a mirror? He is going to the sea. He wants to play. See him swimming all around? I bet that water is really, really cold. What do you think? And when he is done playing, he climbs back onto the snow. Where will he go then? Do you see him walking away in his footprints in the snow? Who knows? The end. All right, for our song that we're gonna sing next, you're gonna need something to wave. And I have with me a scarf. And it's a very bright and colorful scarf, unlike the book that we just read. It's got red and it's got orange. And if you have a scarf, you can stop, get that out now. And if you don't have a scarf, you can use maybe a t-shirt or a dish towel or maybe even a sock. All right, so you can pause this for a second and get out something to wave. All right, are we ready? The song is called One Bright Scarf and for it you have to wave your scarf or your dish towel or your sock way up high and then you're gonna wave it way down low and you're gonna wave it really, really, really fast. Can you do that? And really, really 
slow. Can you do that? And then we're going to hide it. So you can sing this song at home with your family and you can practice hiding your scarf and then see if they can find it. It goes like this. Here we go. One bright scarf waiting for the wind to blow. Wiggle it high, wiggle it low. Wiggle it fast and wiggle it slow. Where did it go? All right, are you ready to do that one more time? Get your scarf and have it ready. Here we go. One bright scarf waiting for the wind to blow. Wiggle it high, wiggle it low. Wiggle it fast and wiggle it slow. Where did it go? All right, good job. Now the next book I have to share with you is called I Know a Wee Piggy by Kim Norman with pictures by Henry Cole. Now this book has all of the colors that our first book didn't have. And you can tell by looking at the title page that this little boy is taking his piggy to the county fair. Have you ever been to a fair? A fair is kind of like a mix of a theme park or carnival and a contest and hmm, maybe watching some races or showing off a craft fair or that sort of thing. So people bring things to the county fair to have them judged, like they bring vegetables or sometimes they bring crafts that they make like quilts or they can vegetables and bring those. Um, they bring cows and other things. And sometimes there are races, either the, cow, uh, the pigs or perhaps cars sometimes at the fair. They're a whole lot of fun and there's a lot of good food there too. So we're gonna see all of those things in this book, see if you can find them. I know a wee piggy who wallowed in, what's that color? brown. Upside down he wallowed in brown, but brown is not for me, he said. I think I'll add a rinse of red. I know a wee piggy who wallowed in red. Hoof to head he wallowed in red. You see what he's got there? He's running through all of the vegetables that they've been canning that they brought to the fair. Piggy said, the red's too bright. I think I'll add a wash of white. Now he's in the dairy barn. Do you see he's getting there knocking the milk over? But they're not happy about that. I know a wee piggy who wallowed in white. It's not polite to wallow in white. He wallowed in white to go with the red. He wallowed in red to go with the brown. Upside down, he wallowed in brown. Piggy said, too pale, I think. I'd better add a pinch of, what color do you think he's gonna add now? That's right, pink. Ooh, he's into the cotton candy. Do you like cotton candy? I know a wee piggy who wallowed in pink. How silly to think he needed more pink. He wallowed in pink to go with the white. He wallowed in white to go with the red. He wallowed in red to go with the brown. Upside down, he wallowed in brown. Pink's a bore, I heard him bellow. I need about a yard of, can you guess? Yellow. Oh, he's gotten into the chickens now. I know a wee piggy who wallowed in yellow. Slippery fellow to wallow in yellow. He wallowed in yellow to go with the pink. He wallowed in pink to go with the white. He wallowed in white to go with the red. He wallowed in red to go with the brown. Upside down, he wallowed in brown. Piggy squealed, I won't look back until I add a blast of black. Oh, he's, looks like he's getting into the paint now where they're painting a sign. I know a wee piggy who wallowed in black. Out by a shack, he wallowed in black. He wallowed in black to go with the yellow. He wallowed in yellow to go with the pink. He wallowed in pink to go with the white. He wallowed in white to go with the red. He wallowed in red to go with the brown. Upside down, he wallowed in brown. 
Piggy shouted, now I've seen that I should add a glimpse of green. Oh, he is a mess, isn't he? He is covered in everything. I know a wee piggy who wallowed in green. Oh, what a scene, he'll never get clean. He wallowed in green to go with the black. He wallowed in black to go with the yellow. He wallowed in yellow to go with the pink. He wallowed in pink to go with the white. He wallowed in white to go with the red. He wallowed in red to go with the brown. Upside down, he wallowed in brown. Piggy sighed. The green's okay, but now I need a glob of gray. What does she do in there? It looks like she has some clay and she's making maybe a vase or a pot. So she's a potter that's showing people the craft that she does at the fair. I know a wee piggy who wallowed in gray, orange and gray, a brilliant display. Uh-oh. Get out of his way. Holy cow, look at him going through the ducks in the duck pond game. Do you think maybe it'll wash him off just a little? I know a wee piggy who didn't stop there. He wallowed in purple all over the fair. If you look really, really close, you can see him running with that purple ribbon and the little boy chasing after him. He added the purple to go with the gray. He added the gray to go with the green. He added the green to go with the black. He added the black to go with the yellow. He added the yellow to go with the pink. He added the pink to go with the white. He added the white to go with the red. He added the red to go with the brown. Upside down, he wallowed in brown. Piggy said, I'm not quite through. I won't be till I add some. What color is missing? Blue. Look at that, he washed off in the dunk tank. I know a wee piggy who wallowed in blue. He won it too. Look at that, he won a blue ribbon at the fair after all of that. The end. So we went through all of the colors with that book and then we explored one color in the first book. And that's all we have time to do today, but I'd like to close with our goodbye song and it goes like this. Story time is done, story time is done. Hi ho the dario, story time is done. Bye.